Let me tell you that when I learned that by the age of two, over 80% of dogs will suffer from oral or dental disease, I completely changed the way I look at my dog's daily routine. And here's why. Poor dental or oral health can greatly reduce our dog's immunity health or immune system. And even more than that, this can increase our dog's chances of getting fatal diseases, anywhere from cancer, diabetes, infections, and more commonly, heart disease. And even more than that, let me tell you, when I learned that one of the biggest pet industry claims was absolutely false, and that claim is that kibble actually cleans our dog's teeth because it's hard and crunchy. When I learned that not only was that not true, and in fact, it's the opposite, which I'll talk about in a minute, and then I learned that those green dental chews were actually more harmful than not. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the five easy things that I do to keep my dog's teeth healthy. A list of all the products that I use. And in addition to that, because you guys ask me this a lot, I am going to be sharing my DIY dog toothpaste recipe. Let's start off with an easy one, and that is I brush my dog's teeth every day. And you may go, oh gosh, I've heard this before. But towards the end of the video, I will be sharing how to get started doing this and some really easy hacks to make this super simple and actually integrate into your daily routine. And then the second thing is something I don't see super commonly talked about, and I need to make sure I address it early in this video, and that is making sure that my dogs get to the vet at least once a year for an actual oral exam, just so the vet can get in there and see if there is any plaque or tartar, tartar buildup and check the gum health of my dogs, look at their tongue. And this is really important because there can be cancers and other diseases that can develop inside the mouth that a vet or a trained professional will really need to be able to keep an eye on. Now let's jump into probably my favorite way that I keep my dog's teeth healthy naturally, and I love it because it requires very, very little effort on my end, and my dogs love it. It also greatly reduces their boredom, stress, anxiety, and adds a lot of mental stimulation and enrichment, and it's really a fun way to do it, and that way is by using natural, biologically appropriate, and healthy chews that are specifically targeted to clean my dog's teeth. A few examples, raw meaty bones, which you can get from your local pet shop. I really love these because I feed them frozen and because they have tendons and ligaments on the outside of the bone, it acts as a kind of a hard floss for my dog's teeth, plus they really enjoy chewing them. I give these anywhere from one to three times a week. Also, the cocoa chew, which you guys know I'm a big fan of, and everything I talk about today is all linked, most of them with special links in my shop page linked below, so you can check that out after this video, but the cocoa chew is 100% coconut husk, and it's a natural way that dogs can chew on it and scrape their teeth clean. I also love responsibly sourced bully chews and probably one of the coolest, most unique and effective dental cleaners for my dogs that they literally cannot get enough of are these Icelandic lamb horns, which yes, these are linked below. These are incredible for a few reasons. First off, they are completely and 100%, you can see here, fully digestible. And that's because these are not bone. These are 100% keratin. And as I said, they're responsibly sourced out of Iceland. And the dogs love them because you can hear they're very hard. Look at Bentley, get it. And what I also love about these is because they are so hard and crunchy, it literally scrapes their teeth clean. And as you can see, the kids really love them. You can hear that scraping. So this is how dogs would keep their teeth clean in the wild, whether they're a wolf or a coyote or a wild dog. You guys also need to see these hand wrapped cod skin chew. So basically this is a fish skin that's literally been hand wrapped and rolled. So think of this as a better and more natural alternative to a rawhide because no, I'm not a fan of rawhides because of how they're produced, the choking hazard mechanisms, they're not digestible, and they're made with actual glues and toxic ingredients I would never give my dogs. So this is amazing. These are long lasting. You can see that they're hand rolled literally by a human. And the cool thing about this, not that this is a nutrition video, but these, because they are made 100% of just fish skin, they are full of healthy, fat because dogs, humans as well, honestly, are usually deficient in healthy fats and omega-3. So this is a great way to give them a 
biologically appropriate, which means it's species appropriate, appropriate made for a dog to eat, that's going to clean their teeth. And if you have a smaller dog or you just want like more of a daily chew that's smaller, they make these smaller portions of these. It's like this, but in a smaller bite so they can chew on it for maybe just a few minutes and completely eat it, it's completely digestible. And of course with all chews, I do also want to caveat, these are what I do for my dogs. You are your dog's best advocate. Always supervise when you're giving a chew and pick a chew that's safe for your dog, their chewing ability, if they're gulpers, etc. Like this is all kind of at your own discretion. But I really wanna talk about one thing specifically about these treats that is really near and dear to my heart, especially my mission here, you can see back there, which is to save all the damn dogs. As you may or may not know, I actually started on YouTube just to document the stories of the homeless foster dogs that I brought into my home from uh, the animal rescues, shelter groups, the humane societies that I volunteer with, and I would rehab them because most of them had medical and behavioral issues. And on that note, I want to share about this rescue support organization called Cuddly, and I am so honored and grateful to be able to support them because what they do is they are the bridge between pet parents like you and I that want to give back to dogs in need and the rescue groups that desperately need our help. And so what they have done is they've set up this platform with almost 3,000 rescues and growing across the country where you and I as pet parents can go on there. We can actually pick a rescue or pick a dog that's in need. Maybe they're a medical need. Maybe they have an injury. Maybe they're just waiting to find their forever home. And we can actually send and donate Icelandic chews to them to help with mental stimulation, enrichment. Because if we think about it, these rescues and shelter groups and humane societies across the country are greatly understaffed. They're mostly volunteer ran, and these dogs are just desperate for some sort of mental relief, right? Most of them are highly stressed, anxious, maybe even bored. They could be in pain because a lot of them have really bad medical issues and giving them something like a lamb horn or a fish skin or a chew or a treat is a way to alleviate so much mental exhaustion and sadness and anxiety and stress. So while I know that like myself, you would wanna go out there and help take care of all these dogs that are in need and walk them and bathe them and just do everything you can for them, the reality is that we can't. But what we can do is through Cuddly, is we can actually choose Icelandic chews, treats, and donate them to these rescues to give to these dogs to give them some kind of mental relief while they're waiting for their forever home. So if you're thinking of getting one of these Icelandic chews or treats for your dogs, because they also make some of my favorite training treats for my boys, you can also, you can also go to Cuddly's website, which all the specific links for you will be down below, and choose a rescue or choose a rescue's wish list. Some of them have fundraisers going, and you can actually specifically choose some of these Icelandic chews or fish skins or treats and send to them for them to give to the dogs. It's an excellent way to give back, especially with holiday seasons. Now, before I share my DIY recipe, which I know you're gonna go wild over, I still have two more things I wanna talk about that I do to keep my dog's teeth healthy for as long as possible. And the next one is feeding my dogs a biologically appropriate, species appropriate, fresh food, diet, AKA my dogs do not eat a dry processed kibble diet. And so let me let me stop you there because I know you're like, wait, 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 what do you mean kibble? Like, what do you mean fresh food diet? So I will have more detail at the end of the video, more in detail about what I feed my dogs and how, but I wanna give you a quick summary here. And that is, there is a big myth out in the pet industry that if you take anything away from this video, it might have to be this. And that myth is that kibble is important for dogs because it actually cleans our teeth. First, let's think about what kibble is. How do they make it shelf stable? You know, it's able to sit in the pet food stores for months and months and even up to years at a time. And how do they make it so affordable? And the reality is, is all kibble, regardless of the brand, is full of carbohydrates. That's how they make those little starchy little nuggets. And am I 100% against kibble? No, but I'll talk about that towards the end of the video and more in detail what my dogs eat. But telling a pet parent that a dry, high carb, which remember carbs convert into sugar, cleans our dog's teeth effectively is in a common sense way completely 
false. That would be as if our human doctor or my human doctor told me, hey Rachel, in order for you to have clean teeth, you need to go eat Cheerios or potato chips or crackers because they're very similar to how they're produced and manufactured as kibble. So the best way in my experience for my dog's teeth to stay clean is feeding them a diet that's lower in carbs. And that's why I feed them a whole food, fresh food diet, which is really important because the food is more fresh, raw, all of the digestive enzymes that can help break down the tartar and the plaque buildup in our dog's teeth are actually present. The food that I feed my dogs is not cooked, it's not highly processed. So it's food that was naturally made for dogs in the way that they're supposed to eat. So it's going to have more of the healthy nutrients macro and micro that they're gonna to need to have healthy overall health. And even more than that, I am so tired of seeing those little green dental chews or these kind of popular dental chews, little bite-sized ones that you see at all the big pet stores like the Petco's and PetSmart's claiming that they're cleaning our dog's teeth when the primary ingredients in these are wheat flour, wheat gluten, oat fiber, and other preservatives and actually one of the more popular ones had a huge investigation not even that long ago because pet parents were having issues with taking their dog to the vet after eating trying to eat one of these dental chews which claimed to be fully digestible and the vets were finding them in their esophagus and in their stomach not fully digested because they're made with ingredients that dogs were never supposed to eat. Now the next thing I do for dental health with my dogs is something I've talked about before but not in relation to dental health and it's something I do for both myself and my dogs and really it expands to more than just dental health it's really overall health and that is I use a super high quality water filter and the water that my dogs get i actually use aqua true the links for that will be down below if you want to learn more about it but this is really important because city water is known to have a lot of ingredients in it that can be harmful to both human and dog health and so what i like to do is actually two parts first and foremost i clean my dog's water bowl every single day because have you ever felt a side wall of a water bowl and it felt kind of slimy and gross that's bacteria buildup which can lead to poor health in our dog so i clean out my dog's bowl water bowl and food bowl every single day then the water i give them is filtered to make sure that they're getting the most optimal water because think about how much our dogs drink and should be drinking and how much of their body and our body is made up of water and fluid so it's really important that what they're taking in is healthy because water helps wash away what's on their teeth and their teeth is like one of the first things that the water hits so it's important that it's super healthy now for my DIY toothpaste recipe, you're going to just be mind blown at how easy this is. And it's two ingredients, but there is a third optional ingredient if you wanna make it a little special. And quick note, to this date, I have not found a commercially available pet toothpaste that I have found to be healthy enough and effective enough for my dogs. Meaning those little toothpaste containers that you see at a conventional vet or I see at like Petco's and PetSmart's. I've never seen one that wasn't packed full of ingredients that just really weren't relevant for my dogs, which is why years ago I really researched, okay, what's the most natural and healthy way that I can make a toothpaste at home? And it is two tablespoons of baking soda mixed with two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now the important part of the coconut oil is the type of coconut oil. It needs to be organic, it needs to be unrefined. My favorite one is linked down below for you guys. Now, you just mix those together and you can use a toothbrush or you can use some gauze or a soft rag to wipe around dog's teeth. If you wanna amp it up a little bit, I love to puree or finely mince parsley, organic parsley, just a little bit, and mix into the mixture and then brush my dog's teeth because it really freshens their breath naturally. And the reason I love these ingredients is because first off, this coconut oil I love is a natural antimicrobial, so it's great at cleaning teeth. In fact, a lot of human toothpaste will actually use coconut oil. And also, I love baking soda because it is a natural abrasive ingredient, meaning that it helps scrape away the buildup on the teeth. And now you may be wondering, okay, great, I wanna start brushing my dog's teeth. It's gonna be really easy to give some of these chews, but I really wanna get into brushing my dog's teeth. First off, it is important to do this from a mental 
uh, impact. And what I mean by that is there's likely going to be a time in your dog's life where their mouth is going to have to be handled, you know, looked at and inspected by a vet, or maybe you want to get in there and, you know, check their teeth. Maybe they got something stuck in there. So if nothing else, brushing their teeth and getting them used to it and comfortable with it will help far down the road. And if you're just getting started, first off, skip the pet toothbrushes that you see at the pet store. You can get them, they're fine. They're, too, they're typically upcharged. I'm still looking for one, and I may have one linked to my shop page eventually one day that I really like, but so far, everyone I've seen has been super expensive. So I just get one of those like dollar store, really inexpensive human toothbrushes. And you can start by just introducing the toothbrush, let, toothbrush, letting them get used to it. They're gonna love the flavor because coconut oil is very flavorful for a dog. And you can start by just doing a couple teeth at a time. Like literally you can get in there and do a couple teeth and then stop and go back the next day and do a couple more teeth. And you could literally just do two or three teeth a day to keep it simple and short. And friendly reminder that everything I've talked about like these chews or the coconut oil in this video are linked on my shop page, which is linked down below. Also, don't forget that the cuddly links are down below where you can click on the links and actually buy some of these Icelandic treats or chews to send and donate to a homeless shelter dog through one of the almost 3,000 rescue groups and shelter groups that Cuddly works with to support so that you can help give back to a dog in need. It's just crazy. You can buy one for your dog and one for a shelter dog. It's just an incredible, incredible organization that I'm so thrilled to now be part of within their ecosystem and help elevate what they're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you again to Cuddly for sponsoring this video to support our mission to save all the damn dogs. Now, let's talk about my diet for do my dogs and what I feed my dogs. We'll click the video right here and we'll jump over there together. And if you wanna see some of my favorite kibble toppers, you can click the video right here. And I hope you have a beautiful day, goodbye.